Hey, welcome to World Entertainment. And Captain America Brave New World, as we know, is getting reshoots. And then more reshoots, and then more reshoots. And essentially, they have filmed this entire movie twice. <laughs> That's right. They have basically shot the entire movie twice. And now we're getting what the budget for this thing could be in the region of. Because there is a new report that says the budget has ballooned to $375 million. And then it's funny because they say it's like they're shooting a brand new movie. That's because they did shoot a brand new movie. <laughs> so we'll have a look at this, right? So it's crazy as well because when you hear the release dates that this thing was meant to have. So it says as if Marvel Studios production problems with Blade weren't bad enough. A supposed insider is reporting that thanks to its recent round of reshoots. The budget for Captain America Brave New World has gotten absolutely out of control. Announced immediately following the series final of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the fourth Captain America film was originally slated for release on May 3rd, 2024. So, a couple of months ago this thing was actually supposed to be out. However, thanks to a combination of the 2023 Hollywood strikes, and Marvel reshuffling their entire production slate later that year, the film was eventually delayed to its current release date of February 14th, 2024. So they were going for the start of the summer blockbuster schedule with this movie to going, oh, we're just going to dump it in February. Hey, we'll put it on the Valentine's Day release date. That did great for Deadpool. It's so stupid. So it says, like, mo like all movies, Brave New World was allotted a brief period following its principal photography to conduct reshoots, the filming of which started in May 2024 and lasted roughly 22 days. Now, the interesting thing about that is that was this new round of reshoots. There was a lot more reshoots. They were reshooting this thing last year as well. Um... As for the 22 days, yeah, they were meant to film from May to August. But they've apparently wrapped filming, which we'll get to, because we do have a bit of an update on that. So it says, but rather than a simple and standard round of additional photography and reported widespread rejection of the film's initial cut by test audiences, instead resulting in these reshoots being used to make a number of massive changes to the overall film including the complete removal of a previously filmed Serpent Society plotline starring WWE star Seth Rollins, the introduction of a new and as of yet unidentified villain played by Breaking Bad star Gina Carlo Espirito, I'm never sure how you pronounce the second name, and the addition of more action scenes. Now, the test audience stuff with that, it wasn't a test audience that they screened it to that rejected the movie outright it was the inside screenings meaning they showed the executives the likes of Feige and all the uh, board members and stuff they showed them the movie and they said oh hell no this thing's not getting released reshoot that and they were like we'd have to reshoot the entire film practically and they went good reshoot the thing so that's what they did and this now has reported to run this budget to 375 million. The crazy thing about this is that number, it, it's possibly higher than this, but that number is before marketing. Now think about that. Think about having a budget of 700 and, or sorry, 375 million dollars. And then you add on your 100 million for marketing. So that would take this budget to 475. But as we know, movies like that tend to usually go for the 150 million marketing. If they do that, this movie in total will have cost 525 million dollars. So 
whether it's 100 million, whether it's 150 million for marketing on this thing, which will have to start getting rounded up quite quickly now because <laughs> we are now in July and this thing wants to come out in February. They need to get eyes on it because we haven't seen a single frame of film of this thing. This thing needs to hit a billion dollars to break even. Now, people might go, well, Disney are back on track because Inside Out 2 just smashed a billion dollars. First movie of the year to do it. Yes, it did. It absolutely did. And somehow it only took three weeks to do it. However, I think there's something weird going on with that one. Because when you break down the numbers, including the weekday numbers, it never dropped below 10 million. That doesn't make sense to me. For three weeks straight, even on a Monday and a Tuesday and a Wednesday and Thursday and so on, it never dropped below 10 million. The first week of its release, after the Sunday, the Monday and Tuesday, it never even dropped below 20 million. It wasn't a long weekend. How the hell was it pulling in 20 million on a Monday and 30 million on the Tuesday? That doesn't make sense. But either way, that aside, I'm not, I'm not saying it it uh, is a bad movie, so it shouldn't have made that movie, because from everything I hear, it's a fine movie. There's nothing offensive in it. It's, it's enjoyable. That's what I've heard. It's just the numbers don't make sense to me. But if you think, because that made a billion, oh, everything from Disney next will do the same. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Now, they're still thinking... Deadpool and Wolverine will smash a billion dollars. I don't think it's smashing a billion. I think it's getting up to around eight, maybe eight fifty. I don't think it cracks nine. I definitely don't think it hits a billion. Because none of the Deadpool movies have done that. And not just that, but what will the budget be for this Deadpool and Wolverine movie? That's the big question everyone's been asking. Because the original two were made for 75 million how much is this because there's no way it's going to be that this thing's probably going to be up in the 300 million so it may not even break even but you are looking at this thing having to break even by hitting a billion dollars and now we're getting the report that crew members have confirmed that work has finally wrapped on reshoots for this thing yeah it's finally wrapped <laughs> And saying today, we bring word that the 2025 movie's additional photography is finally completed. The news comes from crew members who went online to celebrate what will be the final movie worked on by veteran first assistant director Michael Penelli uh, Venti. I could have butchered his name. Says we're also hearing that Cree 3 fight coordinator Mark or miss coney or ever uh, was tapped to serve in the same role for captain america brave new worlds reshoots those have seen uh gina carlo especially the live or whatever his name is uh board the movie in a mysterious role and supposedly scrapped the serpent society most of the cast appear to have been involved with the reshoots including the incredible hulk star tim blake nelson who the hell is Tim Blake Nelson? Including the incredible Hulk star Tim Blake Nelson. Who the hell is that? I don't know. Uh, it says I'm very excited about it. I'm heading to Atlanta tomorrow to continue working on that. He said on the on his return as the leader last month. It's been very exciting to bring back a character from 16 years ago. And imagine how he has aged with me and how that has manifested. The, the leader Tom Blake Nelson I honestly don't remember that character and which one did I say The Incredible Hulk that was the second one wasn't it the one with Edward Norton I can't remember the bloody thing especially from 16 years ago uh, the Marvel team has come up with a really interesting explanation uh, blah 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 I should say blah 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 whatever yeah who cares um, so the thing about what he's just said is they've finished reshoots yet he's just indicated he's heading to atlanta tomorrow to continue working on that so how exactly you finished reshoots 
if you're still working on it. That doesn't quite make sense now, does it? Uh, and he said, I had a great time filming it, uh, and I worked with the Marvel team and this wonderful makeup artist named David Ar Arrington, yeah, whatever, uh, with whom I've collaborated on dozens of movies now. I think people are going to be pretty excited about what this guy looks like and what he has to say and what he does. All power to the amazing team over there at Marvel. <laughs> yeah, right. Amazing team over at Marvel. It's, it's taken you like a year and a half, two years to film this thing. And here's the thing, with this budget going so overboard, the Snow White movie, yeah, you forgot about that, didn't you? Vatch just wrapped filming as well, apparently, with all its reshoots and whatnot. And apparently Disney are absolutely not happy with this movie. Vatch been in production, like actual filming, for two and a half years. Yeah, the budget for that thing must be at least 400 million at this stage and over. So we're looking at the likes of Inside Out making a billion dollars in three weeks and they're going yay we're back yay that money is going to get absolutely wiped off the slate when captain america brave new world and snow white get released because you're looking at two movies that are going to have to make combined well over two billion dollars just to break even that's not even to bring in a, a significant profit that's to break even that is insane what are they doing? And everything we're hearing is both of these movies are disasters. The Captain America is meant to be practically unwatchable. <laughs> and they feel that even the reshoots hasn't fixed that. And the exact same thing was said about the Snow White. They said, yeah, they were shown things. They went, screw that, fix that, went and tried to do it. And they're still going, oh, we're just going to have to put it out the way it is. There's no fixing this. So you've two movies that are now got these absolutely ballooned budgets. Again, before marketing even begins on these things. And they're already dead on arrival. Oh, it's such a disaster for them. But with that, I shall leave it there for this one. So, like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. And I'll leave it there for this one. So cheers and I'll catch you in the next.